Hello, my name's Ashley Gwinter, and I have another video for you today on the X-Plane 11. Now, what I want to show you today is how to locate a specific place or a specific location anywhere on the chart, not using a GPS, but using either one or two VOR uh, instruments. Now, that's these instruments here. You can do this using either one or two of them. I'm going to show you the method using both but also using just one of them as well because one of the requirements is if you're only going to use one of them you need to be able to specifically know where on a radial you're located and using DME is one of those options however if you do not have DME in your aircraft and you have two VORs or the VOR transmitter of Vortac does not have a DME or a DME is not working that day you can use two of them and as long as these two different radials intersect at 45 degrees or more you can pinpoint your specific location anywhere on any chart as long as you're in range of any VOR receivers. Now that's probably just confused everybody. So I've picked a random spot on this chart in the Northern Virginia area and this is a town called Woodville. It's in the vicinity in receiving range of Casanova VOR and the Linden VOR both located in Northern Virginia very close to Manassas. And I'll pause the sim at the moment. And this is Manassas Airport right here. Now keep in mind, today I'm not using my flight controllers. I'm just using the autopilot to fly. Uh, the flight controllers are packed away. But looking at the chart, I've just used um, uh, skyvector.com to determine a specific location. Now the town of Woodville, it's located 268 degrees from the Casanova VOR. And the Casanova VOR is tuned into the number one VOR 268 Oops. so I'll just tune all this in before I unpause the VOR uh, the simulator sorry about there and Linden VOR from Woodville to the Linden VOR it's 004 so what I'll do is put 004 in the bottom is about there. Uh, so it's either 004 to the station or 184 from. So I've just got 184 and it's going to be from and then Linden VOI is tuned in there. Now first of all I actually do need to get to the VOR at Casanova first and from that once overhead then track to 6, 8 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll actually unpause the simulator and what I'll do is track directly to it. So what we have here is to get straight to the Casanova VOI right now is 265. Let's do that. <coughs> Tracking straight to the VOR. And obviously as you can see here Casanova VOR is 17 nautical miles away. So this shouldn't take too long. Okay, we're currently en route to the Casanova VOR. We're currently, as you can see on the DME here, because Casanova is in the number one VOR, uh, we're just over six miles to go. As you can see, it's, it, it is decreasing as we get closer. Uh, the needle is pretty closely centered, and keep in mind the needle is going to get more and more sensitive the closer we get to it. Now, once we get down to about one mile, what I'll do is I'll change it to 268. We're not far off it already. Let's have a quick quickly take a look at the chart. Uh, let's see, Woodville, Virginia, this small town, is located 268 degrees from the Casanova VOR. So currently we're showing two. Once we get overhead the VOR, it'll flicker a little bit and it'll switch to from. And I'll dial in 268. Now we've got two methods we, we could find this. We'll either be 15 nautical miles, be 15 nautical miles here on the 268 radial, and that will be overhead Woodville. The other method, which we have the Linden VOR, which is another VOR located not far away, uh, we need to be 004 from or 1842. It doesn't matter which one's dialed in because all we're looking for on the Linden VOR is the needle to be centered, and that one's already configured. So that one's already ready to go. So we'll track 268 once we get overhead the VOR and we're just over three miles to go. So about a minute and a half.
at this current speed. Okay, we're about a mile and a half to go until we get to the VOR. Just keep in mind, also just make sure the settings on nav, not GPS as well. That's an important part as well. And you can see I'll turn the moving maps off just because that way I'm displaying nothing of relevance for this exercise. Okay, one, one mile to go. We're about 2,000 feet above it, so it's probably going to be about 0.3 when we're overhead, thereabouts. Change it to 268 now. Oops, wrong way. It's about there. No, about there. Point. I'd say we're about overhead now. Yep. Flick. There we go. And we're pretty close to centered already. Oh, just a little bit left of track, so I'll just go right a little bit. We'll keep an eye on this needle. And you can see the DME is now increasing as we get further away from the VOR as it is now behind us. So with this needle centered on 268 and that 15 DME, we should be overhead the town of Woodville. And there's no navigation there, there's no airport there, it's just a random town that I've picked off the map. And also the Linden VOR, VOR number two. When the needle is centered, that means we should also be overhead. So you can either use the two VORs to determine when you're overhead Woodville, or you can use one VOR, number one, with the DME, in this case, 15 nautical miles. And looking at the visual chart, it is on the eastern side of the mountain range. So that would be these mountains over here. I don't know if it's these immediate ones or the next ones. Either way, we're going to be on the eastern side of some larger mountains. That's probably this mountain range here. These are probably smaller ones. So I'm guessing around here. Okay, the needle is still centered. And of course, I've got the power settings up pretty high, and you know, obviously, I wouldn't fly in these normal in the yellow arc there with such a high power settings, but it's just to save time, man, it's being a simulator. Okay, we've approached the 10 nautical mile, 10 DME, from the Casanova VOR, and we still have the needle centered, and there's still no movement on the Linden VOR. However, it should start moving fairly soon, as we start getting a bit closer to the 15 DME mark. And once again, looking at the chart, uh, there is uh, one mountain, 1,305 feet, just to the east of Woodville. And that might be either, that's probably either this one here, or maybe that one there. Either way, it's not far away. We have about uh, four miles to go, just under four miles. So that's probably this one here. So it's probably in this valley down here somewhere. Still no movement in the VOR. So uh, VOR number two, Linden VOR, it should start moving shortly. So keep an eye on that. And we still have the VOR number one, Casanova VOR needle centered. I would say Woodville is going to be in this valley in here somewhere. Casanova VOR needle centered. And I expect the Linden VOR needle to start moving soon. I'll do is I'll pause the simulator once we're at 15 DME. There we go, we've got the Linda VOR moving now. I'll pause it right on 15 DME and we'll see what's below. One mile to go. Need is still centered, close to 15, and we almost got centered from the Linden VOR as well. Fifteen DME. Okay. Now, 
Let's take a look outside. I think it's shift. It's not shift eight. Let's have a look below. This should be a little town. So let's take a look at Google Maps. Okay, so we've got an interesting road configuration. We have a road with kind of a square with it, one side of it, one corner of it slightly skewered. I think that road configuration might resemble Woodville, Virginia. I think it's safe to say we have found Woodville, Virginia using a navigation aid. To me, that looks like the road configuration of Woodville, Virginia. Wow, there's that square with that corner slightly askew. Huh. Yep. We just located Virginia, uh, Woodville, Virginia using VOR from Casanova, centered needle, 268 degrees, 15 nautical miles, which I got from the chart on skyvector.com, and also uh, close to the center of the needle with um, the second VOR from Linden, 184 degrees. And as you can see, it's pretty closely centered. Had I waited just a little bit longer, the center of the needle would have been just past the town, but it's pretty close. It gets you in the vicinity. But the uh, VOR1 and DME was spot on. So there you go. That is how you locate any specific location on a chart using a ground navigation aid VOR or DME. I hope this video has been informative for you, uh, how you can locate any specific location on any chart anywhere in the world using any VOR navigation aids. or and You can use the same methods of the NDB. So if you use two intersecting lines, you've got to intersect at 45 degrees or more. Or if you're using a VOR with a DME, the DME co-located with a VOR always intersects at 90 degrees. doesn't matter what radial you're on. So that's more a more accurate way of doing it. So yeah, 15 DME, 268 degrees from Casanova VOR, Founders, Woodville, Virginia. I hope this video has been of help for you. Uh, if you like this video please feel free to hit that like button or subscribe uh, i can be reached on my website ashleywinser.com and i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching see ya